This past October, we spent a little quality time with a 3D printer and built a submarine powered by a magneto hydrodynamic drive. That's right, it's a boat powered by electricity and magnets. Magneto hydrodynamics, that's a big word. It's the study of fluids that are electrically conductive, like plasma from our sun. In this case, the fluid is seawater. The Lorentz force describes how the combination of flowing electricity and a magnetic field perpendicular to that current can create a force. We built a quick prototype to see if this could really work for a model submarine. We start with a clear tube and glue two pieces of aluminum inside on opposite sides of the tube. When we hook up one plate to ground and the other to a voltage, a current will flow if it's submerged in seawater. Next, we stick two magnets on the top and bottom, attracting towards one another across the tube. This provides a strong, reasonably uniform magnetic field that runs vertically across the tube. When submerged, the seawater should feel a force propelling it down the length of the tube. The right-hand rule tells us which direction to expect the force in. With your thumb parallel to the electric current and your index finger parallel to the magnetic field, the force pushes perpendicular to both directions, coming out of your palm, or in this case, down the middle finger. Okay, that's enough theory. Let's test it. With a small container filled with warm water, we mix in some common table salt. We hooked up this prototype to a 12 volt power supply and set it in the salt water. There you go. Ooh. It's definitely flowing through the tube. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it better. Okay, you can see it flowing out the back. Those bubbles are, it's a lot of bubbles. Yeah. A drop of food coloring helps show the speed of the water flowing through the clear tube. Nice, that looks <laughs> great. Because the current is that way, the magnetic field is that way, my pointer finger, so the force is, a contortion here, through the tube, all at 90 degrees from one another. Next, we need to build a model submarine around this drive. This is the lower hull section, which contains the inlets and outlets. We designed it with a single drive for simplicity, but made dual inlets and outlets. In the original Red October movie, the fictional submarine had twin drives, so this gives us the dual drive look. Here, we insert the drive section, modeled in purple. Underneath is the lower magnet. Zooming in, the two aluminum plates are seen screwed into place. At the bottom, an eight pack of AA batteries provides the energy. Since there's enough ferromagnetic material in a battery, the pack simply sticks to that lower magnet. Add a bunch of screws and nuts to secure the drive section to the boat. The top half of the boat covers it up and also forms the top ceiling of the drive ductwork. A hole at the top of the conning tower allows an on-off switch to peek through. We left enough extra airspace within the hull to stuff it with styrofoam to make it buoyant enough. With a section view cut down the length of the boat, we can see the interesting bits of the drive section. The eight orange batteries at the bottom, the lower magnet in gray, one of the two aluminum conductive walls shown in blue, the top magnet which will be secured inside the top hull is missing from this shot. A double section view shows the drive section and how it's tied into the ductwork's path. Altogether, the two inlets in the front should suck in water and propel it out the back. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, so this boat should move. With the 3D printer left busily printing overnight, both halves of the submarine were printed. This took a while.
The drive section was 3D printed in orange, with space for two aluminum walls to be secured in place. Let's apply 12 volts across the walls and test this drive section alone. In the first test, we only have on one there. magnet taped underneath. And the magnet underneath, tape for now. Power. Let's give it a try. When the power supply is switched on, the plate started bubbling and water jetted out the back. There were a lot of bubbles created. There's no lid on it, but it's definitely uh That's probably mostly hydrogen, but maybe a bit of chlorine as well. For a more complete test, let's temporarily place the top magnet above the drive duct. Oh, I managed it. No All right, so that'll be how it is, right? Got right there. In there. Right there. All right. All right. Double the magnetic field strength and a right. good lid to the duct. The two good magnet Lord. test moved a lot of water. Ooh, that's a lot of thrust. Oh man, look at it. That was definitely. That was It's not really making as many bubbles. There's a bubble you could get. Oh yeah, that was a good one. With the drive section proven, let's assemble the complete submarine model. Wires are attached to the aluminum plates. The drive assembly is screwed into the red lower hull. A power switch to complete the connection is wired up and stuck in place as the periscope sticking out of the conning tower. The upper magnet is carefully placed inside the gray upper hull. Finally, the lower magnet is positioned underneath the lower hull, effectively clamping the two halves together with magnets. <laughs> hey, you got it. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Because that's, it holds it all together. Wow, pretty good. Perfect, yeah. The eight pack of batteries is wrapped in packing tape in an attempt to waterproof it and stuck to the lower magnet. The submarine is complete. Cool. There it is. There it is. Battery pack engaged. It sinks. I think it's that little pocket of air in there. Mm -hmm. I'm just holding it up. Ideally, I wanted to like Low give up that much out. Yeah. You know, just that little bit. As expected, the submarine wasn't buoyant enough as is. So some pre-cut pieces of styrofoam are inserted into the upper hull. Up in the uh, nose. Starting to go down. Let's get rid of the bubbles here. You know, not too bad. Yeah. All together now, how does it work in our salty water Here's test dock? That's going. Oh, look at it. You can see it. Yeah, nice. You can totally see it. Turning, it's turning right, but that's all right. That, those bubbles are propulsion coming out. Yeah, nice. Oh, it's working. It's totally going. For the big finale, we need a bigger ocean. With nearly 20 gallons of water, we need to mix in a lot more salt. Yep. We didn't want to spend a lot of time stirring. So we pulled out yeah, an old stir, stir plate we had made out of an old computer Please. fan and some magnets. With spinning magnets underneath and a stir bar inside the tank, 
The spinning stir bar can constantly stir and swirl the water in the tank, helping that salt to dissolve. Kick it on. Yep. There you go. In this time lapse, you can see the salt slowly dissolving. We pushed it all in closer to the stir bar, which made short work of it. I'm gonna flip the switch. All right. Oh yeah! Setting the submarine into our make-believe ocean, it moved, Maybe? just I very slowly. It's very slow. I'm gonna pick it up. Pretty still. Engage the silent drive. I mean, it's slowly moving. I think it's working. I think it is. Oh, yeah, look at the bubble on the back. Yeah. Right rudder. Straighten out. It's picking up speed. I don't know if I'd better keep up with it on camera. <laughs> Go for an iceberg. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, cool. That's not bad. It's a cool shot. See the bubbles coming right out at me. Uh huh. We have moving up bubbles. Doing a circle. With just the bottom half of the submarine and a bit of food coloring. We can see how water is propelled through the drive. Nice, that's awesome. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. That put out a lot, well, I guess when you put it right on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all fine. That looks great. But we want a bit more speed to end on a more dramatic result. How can we speed it up? More salt. With more salt in the water, we get more electric current flowing between the plates. More current means more power, more go. And our new batteries. Fresh set. So we got more salt. Lots more salt. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, I see it shooting out the back. Oh yeah, it's moving faster. That is quicker. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Takes a little bit to get that initial get rolling, movement, yeah. but once it goes, Picking up speed. Yeah, it is. Doink. <laughs> nice. The flowing, slightly bubbly water can be seen flowing out the stern much more clearly now. Cool. A check with the lighter shows the gas is flammable. Hydrogen bubbles. Oh yeah! Oh look at that! That made green for sure. That's pretty great. If you've made it this far, well, thanks for watching and joining us on this little magnetic submarine adventure. We've got to go now. It's time to rewatch The Hunt for Red October.